Airdrops are one of my favorite things about the crypto space because there's so much opportunity to just become an early user of an application and then get rewarded for doing that, sometimes to the tune of thousands and thousands of dollars. I've personally been the recipient of many major crypto airdrops like Uniswap, One Inch Exchange, ENS, sometimes getting $10,000 or more just by being an early adopter. And I've helped lots of other people on the channel do the exact same thing. And this video, I'm going to talk about a brand new project is going to do an airdrop in the future and how we just saw some Easter egg that confirms this. So if you want to position yourself for this, then make sure you watch this entire video. Smash that like button down below and subscribe to this channel. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. And if you want to know how to master blockchain step by step start to finish, then head on over to dappyversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's talk about the next big candidate for a crypto airdrop. So who is it? Well, it's ZK Sync, the layer two scaling solution for Ethereum. And we just saw an Easter egg on the ZK Sync website here over at docs.zksync.io that says, you know, will there be a token? And the answer is just a brief yes. It says, says when will the token be released? So they don't give any uh, official information about this, but it says that you can you know, find more about them for the official announcement from Discord, Telegram, and Twitter. So this is a huge thing because we saw Easter eggs about the ZK Sync token on their documentation before, and they kind of disappeared, and now they're back again. So now starts the speculation about how this is going to be distributed and when. So full disclosure, now we don't exactly know that this is going to be an airdrop, but it stands to reason that it's going to be because we've seen lots of other crypto projects do airdrops to release their tokens. It's hard to think of another way they might distribute this. And we're starting to see other layer two scaling solutions for Ethereum like Optimism launch a cryptocurrency with an airdrop, their own Optimism token as well. And they did the classic airdrop where basically they took a snapshot of people who are uh, early users of the application, airdropping the tokens based upon certain user statistics. Now, they're a little bit different because they're doing a rolling airdrop, which that could be what happens here with the ZK Sync ecosystem here. Okay, so how are you eligible for this airdrop? All right, so let's just break this down and talk about this because there's possibilities. Nobody always knows for sure exactly how you're going to be eligible but you want to take the next steps to increase the likelihood that you're going to be eligible. That's really what you have to do with these airdrops because in the future, they don't say, here's exactly what you need to do because there's really no element of surprise at that point. But with the ZK Sync airdrop, we have a pretty good idea that they're going to do it because they said they're going to have a token. So that's already a good step. But we can look at past airdrops that have happened on similar types of projects to try to make the best guess that we can. So first and foremost, what you want to do is make sure that you are just bridging funds over to the ZK Sync ecosystem uh, in order to start you know, making some transactions. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, let's talk about what ZK Sync is in the first place. It's a layer two scaling solution for Ethereum. Uh, so basically, that means it's a second uh, environment where you do transactions on top of the blockchain. It's like a separate blockchain itself, but it actually derives its security from Ethereum. So it helps it scale and make faster, cheaper transactions. And that's one of the things about it is you can do these transactions for a lot cheaper than trying to use stuff on the actual main Ethereum chain itself. So in order to get there, uh, you have to use a cryptocurrency exchange that supports ZK Sync withdrawals, which hardly anybody does that. So mostly what you have to do is actually uh, take your funds off of an exchange, move into an Ethereum wallet, and then bridge them up to ZK Sync. So I've got a full video on how to do that. Make sure you check that out. It shows you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to bridge your funds over to the ZK Sync ecosystem and start making transactions. So once you've got your funds on the ZK Sync ecosystem, the next thing to do is just start using different applications, okay? So you can go take a look at the ZK, sorry, the ecosystem website here, ecosystem.zksync.io and find different, you know, projects, okay? You can see uh, the different projects here. You can break them down by, you know, DeFi, uh, you know, digital ID, uh, NFT, infrastructure, all the, all that type of stuff, okay? And whenever you start using applications on top of the ZK Seek ecosystem, you get this double benefit because, you know, there's big likelihood that ZK Sync is going to do an airdrop based on their user statistics, just the, the actual layer two scaling solution itself. But also, you know, there's a likelihood that other projects on top of the ZK Sync ecosystem will also do airdrops. Like if you have an NFT protocol or a DeFi protocol, like they might issue cryptocurrencies themselves and do these retroactive airdrops for early adopters as well. So by using, you know, more things, you're going to increase the likelihood that you're going to A, going to get the ZK Sync airdrop and B, potentially get an airdrop from one of these other projects. And the final bonus piece here is that, you know, once you're on the ZK Sync ecosystem, then the transactions there are definitely a lot cheaper. So you can use more things without, you know, the risk of burning through gas fees like you would on layer one. Now, as I emphasize in that instructional video on how to use the ZK Sync bridge, 
you know, bridges have inherent risks, okay? And so whenever you're doing this, you always want to make sure that you're doing this with the amount of money that you could potentially afford to lose, okay? Because this is all early new technology. It's all experimental. And the last thing you want to do is like get your funds stuck on a bridge or have a bridge exploit where you can't get those funds back. All right, so now let's talk a little bit more about the ZK Sync ecosystem itself and why the ZK Sync token could have pretty big potential, okay? Now, again, this is not financial advice. Like, let's say you get this airdrop in the future, especially like if we're in a bear market. I'm not saying that the price of CK Sync token wouldn't go down at some point and that's going to moon. But let's just talk about why the ecosystem itself has a lot of potential and how that could, value could accrue to the actual ZK Sync token itself. So let's start off again. Quick recap. What is it? You know, it's a layer two scaling solution. You can see other layer two scaling solutions on a website like L2Beat.com. Again, this is where you take a second uh, environment and put transactions on top of it that get settled back on the Ethereum main chain. Because one of the biggest you know, complaints is that Ethereum's too slow, it's too expensive to use for most people. But that's how you fix that problem. You have to wait for Ethereum 2.0 to get here. You use these layer two scaling solutions to do that now. So again, we got Arbitrum, you know, Optimism. This is another big one that did a uh, crypto airdrop. These are optimistic rollups based scaling solutions. And then you got ZK Sync here, which is different. It's a ZK rollup based scaling solution. So what does that mean? How is it different? Well, that is one of the big points and why I think this has a lot of potential over the long term. So if you look at the difference between optimistic rollups and zero knowledge rollups, what is that and how does it work? Well, basically, whenever you have this second, you know, uh, environment where you're doing transactions, it's kind of like its own blockchain, okay? And then the result of those transactions gets included back on the Ethereum main chain. So with Optimistic Rollups, what it does is you essentially have this like environment where all the transactions are processed and then they're rolled up. That's what a rollup is, okay? And then those are included back onto the main chain in a more optimistic way. So what that does is it essentially makes some assumptions about the validity of a transaction. There's some additional trust assumptions here and then goes ahead and processes those. And it has some trade-offs. Like for example, it takes longer to withdraw your funds off the network. Like sometimes it's like a seven day withdrawal period. Okay. You can bypass it with other uh, protocols to help expedite that process. But that's kind of a shortcoming of optimistic rollups in my opinion. Now, um, and that's an example of like what optimism and Arbitrum are. Now, with zero, ZK Sync, zero knowledge rollups, it's a completely different thing because essentially what happens is instead of having to assume something about the validity of a transaction before it gets put back on the main chain, it uses cryptography to completely verify the validity of a transaction and then, you know, includes those rollups back onto the main Ethereum chain itself. Okay. And that's the reason I'm so excited about ZK rollups because you can use cryptography to make this work and there's less trust involved. Okay. And it removes a lot of the bottlenecks that you have whenever you have these trust assumptions in place. And so as we see blockchain adoption continue to take off over time, I do anticipate that layer two scaling solutions will continue to take off over time. And I do think things like optimistic rollups and also ZK rollups will become leaders in this space. And particularly with ZK rollups, particularly with ZK sync. And that's why I think there's so much potential in this ecosystem over the long term and that that value could potentially accrue to the ZK sync token itself. Now I have to wait and see. But that being said, there's still a lot of opportunity just to get an airdrop for getting in and using this technology early. And that's exactly how you do it. Again, the whole name of the game here is to bridge your funds over. Of course, don't do it with any funds you can't afford to lose. All right, go check out that video where I show you exactly how to use the ZK sync bridge step by step. Once you got your funds over there, start looking at different projects that you could possibly use, make some transactions on there because nobody really knows how the eligibility is going to happen. You just have to try a lot of things and hope that you're eligible based on other airdrops that have happened in the past. And then once you've used these other applications, you've got a double chance of getting an airdrop for one of those different applications, okay? And if you do this over and over again, you know, in a cheap transaction environment like ZK Sync, you're going to increase the likelihood that you're going to have that airdrop. And, you know, again, we don't know exactly how it's going to happen, but we do have pretty good Easter egg that there's going to be a token from their FAQ documentation here. And, you know, just based on how other layer twos are doing it, it's probably going to be with an airdrop. So hope you like this video. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so the more people learn about blockchain. And if you're as fast at this technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? You can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. They like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you'd like those and you want to take the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you a master blockchain step-by-step -step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You'd have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.